Mr. Brown? Yes. Well, actually, of course, I don't have very much time to enter for competitions. Oh, I think it's marvellous. You must be a very good golfer. Yes, it did take some winning, actually. Uh, you see, actually, we were all square at the 18th tee. Well, there's one hole to play. Well, she hit her drive. She? A Mrs. Scott Henderson Braithwaite. <laughs> what old Mrs. Scott Henderson Braithwaite from the Towers? She may be old, but she's wiry. <laughs> She's been at it longer than I have. She's been at it longer than any of us. <laughs> well, actually, the captain, of course, he presented the trophy to me. He said that just before I held my last putt, he caught a steely gleam in my eye. Really? And in spite of that, you went on and putted? Determination. Mm. Well, of course, character, too. You know, we Browns have always had nerves of steel. Mm. <laughs> So sorry, Mr. Brown. That was very naughty of you, Peter. It isn't even on the hour. <laughs> there, Mr. Brown. Oh. Oh, hello, Eric. Oh, hello, Sykes. Police after you again. <laughs> <laughs> I've been walking. Really? Not walking, walking, walk, walking. I get to the corner, crowd of blokes in little shorts and, and things on their head came round. I was hustled. I was... I couldn't get out of the way. I'm sorry I'm late. I've been to Wolverhampton. <laughs> They've lost me cap. It fell off. If I'd have bent down to pick it up, it would have trampled me to death. Not exactly in the peak of condition, are you, Sykes? I've just been showing your sister this trophy I won at golf. Isn't it marvellous, mm. Eric? Mr Brown beat Mrs Scott Henderson Braithwaite. What old Nelly Braithwaite? <laughs> old Nelly Braithwaite! <laughs> Golf! <laughs> I'm surprised she got round at all. It takes three of them to get her dressed. She's a good golfer. Oh, yes, she's a good golfer. Old Nelly Braithwaite. <laughs> Where's the ball, Mr. Brown? <laughs> I could beat her with a walking stick and a gobstopper. <laughs> Where did you play on the old pitch and putt? Our course is 6,840 yards. How long's the second hole? <laughs> oh, very bad. <laughs> she has to have a caddy to carry her glasses. It's very easy to scoff if you don't do anything athletic yourself. You need a ten minute rest at each hole. Oh, me? The white hope of British Olympics. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, don't. Oh, Eric, me. I'm glad you're all together. Because I'll break the news. I am tomorrow going to walk to Brighton. It's nearly 46 miles to Brighton. So, that makes it, what, 23 miles each leg. <laughs> Bit longer on this if I hop. 23, good, into Horsham, turn left, into Brighton. And if I feel good, a quick sandwich and I walk it back. Walk it back? Yes. Weeks of training have gone into this. What training? Well, unbeknownst to you, I haven't been catching a bus to the Labour Exchange. I've been walking. <laughs> well, the Labour Exchange is just round the corner. And look how often I've been. Did you get a job? A job? Well, I didn't stop the chat. I mean, in and out, quick. <laughs> Sykes. Quit training me. Sykes. I'm not really a betting man, but I'm prepared to wager ten pounds that you don't walk to Brighton tomorrow. Make it twenty. <laughs> now, I wouldn't want you to have to sell your house. <laughs> Chicken. All right, twenty pounds it is. I go and collect my money, and I suggest you do the same. <laughs> Here's my hand on it. Never mind about the hand. Just get the money. <laughs> We 
cannot afford to lose 20 pounds. Well, thank you for your confidence. First phase of the training. <laughs> What's that? To breakfast. It's a sausage. <laughs> Is it dead? Look, Hatch, you know I don't like sausages for breakfast, and especially a lonely sausage. <laughs> Couldn't you give it an egg to play with? If you're going to walk to Brighton, you need some nourishment. I, I want something to like that. I don't want a 10-pound handicap. <laughs> Or you don't go. Yeah, Herr Guppenführer. You'll be glad of that when you get to Horsham. Ha! Ah, you're quite right, that was marvellous. That was quick. Yeah, it went down a treat. <laughs> I've eaten it. <laughs> Honestly, Hat, I'm temperamental. I, I'm an artist, sir. I'm going to walk to Brighton. And then what? And then what? Hey! <laughs> and then what? And then a little longer walk, and then a little longer, and a little longer. And then what? And then what? <laughs> And then a little longer walk and eventually John O'Groats to Land's End. And then what? Well, that's it, isn't it? Any further up in the sea. <laughs> I mean, what is the point of it all? What do you hope to achieve, apart from sore feet? Montreal. <laughs> Montreal in Canada? <laughs> they haven't moved it, yes. <laughs> You're going to walk to Montreal? Fly. Fly? In an aeroplane. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought you were going to flap your wings. <laughs> <laughs> See, Montreal, the next Olympic Games are going to be held in Montreal, and I intend to get Britain's gold medal for feet. Oh, I see. <laughs> and what about all the other competitors like Italy and Germany and Scandinavia and America? Well, they have one great disadvantage, Hat. What's that? They haven't got British legs. <laughs> Look at those legs. It's bread in his hat. Look at them. There they are, British legs. Are you sure you've got British legs? <laughs> British to the bone, they are. Wait till you see them. Look at them, legs of oak. They look more like three-ply to me. <laughs> now, <clears throat> we'll have less of that, because I'll get that all the way to Brighton, you know that. Oh, my golly, yes, if we're going to Brighton, I think I'd better stop the milk, oh, and the papers. <laughs> we'll be back today. Well, you may be back. But I can't vouch for the car. What's wrong with the car? Well, I haven't driven it any long distances, and I'm not sure of the road. You don't have to be sure of the road. You just have to follow me, don't you? Just follow me. If I go like that, I'm slowing down. If I go like that, I'm going right. If I go like that, I'm down a mano. <laughs> <laughs> if I go alongside that and go like that, it means I want feeding, right? Feeding? How do you expect me to drive a car with one hand and mess around with a knife and fork feeding you with the other? Look, Harriet, feed bottle. I'll be you, I'm in the car, I'm driving. You come alongside, ha, 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 right? I pull up nicely, open your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, that's absolutely disgusting. It tastes like soap. Oh. It is soap. <laughs> Washed up in oxtail soup. Oh. <laughs> I'll change that. I'll get a memento of this day. The gold medal feat of Britain. <laughs> Can you get in a bit? <laughs> Smile. I just thought I'd come in. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to the dry cleaners. 
this is my walking strip. Well, I don't want to be rude, Sykes, but you remind me of a pair of braces. <laughs> Go on. Yeah? The Pardon? other one. What? Have you got a bit of thread hanging off your trousers? Oh, no, it's your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd pop in to see our Olympic hope. Mm. <laughs> you take one leg and I'll take the other and don't forget to make a wish. There's <laughs> <laughs> a right bundle of fun this morning. I'll check the car, Eric. There's another joke you've missed. It's... Oh, Hat, have you checked the tyres? Yes, four. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Sykes, there's this small matter of our wager. There's mine. Right, and there's mine. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing, robbing the gas meter or something? Twenty pounds in there, in all denominations. Yeah, just a minute. Isn't that a half a crown? Uh, yes. Well, that'll be worth four shillings in a few years. Oh, sights. <laughs> Didn't you realise we've gone over to decimal currency? It's all right. Four point oh shillings. Look, haven't you got any paper money? Yes. Hundred pesetas? <laughs> well, that's worth 14 shillings. 14.0 14 shillings. Well, haven't you got any English money? Yes. There you are, a fiver. Besides, it's a white fiver. Yeah, well, I just washed it this morning. <laughs> but look, they called those in years ago. Well, that's a deaf one. <laughs> look at all my jokes, you know. Oh, get me. What's this? 20 marks. Well, that is a novelty. German occupation money. <laughs> that is a novelty. 20 marks, German occupation money, that's worth one cigarette. <laughs> or a bit I owe you 15 shillings. That's legal, he's still living. <laughs> do not pass go, do not collect 200. <laughs> That is a mistake. No, honestly, Sykes, unless you can produce two ten-pound notes in sterling, the bet's off. All right, the bet's off. Oh, no, no, it isn't. Honestly, nobody but a fool would accept that noddy money. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Precisely. I dropped right into that, didn't I? Do not pass gold, do not collect two... I've been looking for this. <laughs> oh, Mr Brown. Is the bet still on? Well, of course it is. Twenty pounds. Well, would it be all right if we paid you a shilling a week? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. I might accept the car. Indeed you will not. It's worth thirty. <laughs> oh, excuse me, madam. Are you aware that you left this car outside last night? Oh, it's all right, Constable. It won't come to any harm. We have a rug over the bonnet, you see. <laughs> I'm running carrying after its welfare, madam. You see, if you leave a car out overnight, the law says you must have a light on it. <laughs> there you are, Constable. Yes, I saw that, madam. But you see, having a lamp is not enough. It has to be lit. <laughs> well, it's not lit now because it's light. Yes, but you see, it's not light all the time, is it? You see, round about eight o'clock at night, there's a nasty habit of getting dark. <laughs> you see, I know, because I have to knock about in it. And if your lamp had been lit last night whilst I was patrolling, I wouldn't have walked into the back of your car. Oh, I am sorry. So am I, madam. I broke my glasses. Oh, dear. Yes, these are the wife's. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a place with my glasses before. Yes, well, I use them mostly for reading, madam. Reading on duty? Number plates. No. <laughs> and I think I can see yours with these. OK, you know. all set, hat. Oh. Ha. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Sonny. You're going to be late for school, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not Sonny, and I left school with Tom Brown. I'm going for a walk. Oh, dressed like that. <laughs> You'll get yourself arrested. Well, you don't expect me to walk in striped trousers, black jacket and a bowler hat. Well, why not, eh? I mean, I do a lot of walking, you know. But you'd think I was a right twit, wouldn't you? If I walked past your house wearing my helmet, vest and underpants. Just a minute, there's a lady present. <laughs> they are happen to be walking to Brighton and time is pressing, so if you don't mind, Harriet, start up, right? Just a moment, madam. Where are you going? I'm going to Brighton. Have you two had a row? No. <laughs> well, then why don't you give him a lift? Because I want to walk. 
Look, sir. No, come here, sir. Look, I know how you feel. I don't trust lady drivers either. <laughs> but you see, that's not going to give her any confidence, is it? Hey? Hey, come on. Show a bit of guts, man. Pop in beside her. Pretend you're enjoying it. If you don't understand, I'm walking to Brighton in preparatory for the Olympic Games in Montreal. Hence the Union Jack. Really? Fancy that. Well, well, well. Oh, well, you better carry on, sir. Okay. I'm doing it for us all. Splendid. OK, Harriet. Hand. Eric. <laughs> What's the matter? How does it start? <laughs> well, you've done it before, haven't you? Put it in gear. Yeah, I know, but it's stuck. Yeah, well, the same. <laughs> Oh, my kneecap. Right. Now see your licence, please. What for? Dangerous driving. She only drove six inches. It can't dangerous drive six inches. Thank you, you are, officer. Thank you. Hey, where'd you get that licence from? Hey. Yes, well, that seems to be all right, madam. Thank you. Now, just a moment, just a moment. What are you sniffing for? Oh, well, speech seems clear enough. Of course it is. The Leith Police dismisseth us. Oh, yes, that's right, yes. <laughs> the Leeds Police dismisseth us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll see what you mean about not wanting a ride with us, huh? No, oh, she's a very good steerer. OK, Harriet, and start. Come on, then. Hup, hup, hup. Come on, sir. On my own initiative, I proceeded to follow the car. <laughs> Central Bank. Oh, the uh, foreign currency department for you. Oh, hello. Uh, can you tell me how the peseta stands at the moment? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I've also got a 1936 half crown. Uh, a white five-pound note in very good condition. And uh, what's the value of 20 German occupation marks? Hello, 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 Get out of this one, then. Locking down a police constable. Ah. You shouldn't have been standing. You had no business to be standing in the middle of the road. I was helping up the Olympic hope oh. whom you previously <laughs> locked down prior to me. Uh, <laughs> correction. I fell. There's no law against falling. You were under the car. <laughs> exactly, yes. Just a quick check to see that everything was in working order. <laughs> Let's go home. You've had a good day. Hey? Well, you don't want to overdo it. Overdo it? I've done about 300 yards. Ten of those on my face. It's not going to get me a gold medal, is it? Well, I don't mind, sir. As long as your sister doesn't enter for the Monte Carlo rally. I am quite a capable driver. Ah, well, we shall see, madam, won't we, eh? <laughs> you know, I fancy a day in Brighton myself. Be honest, officer. You fluster me. Why don't you walk in front and keep Eric company? <laughs> no fear, madam. Now, you just take it nice and steady. See? Right. Ready? Ready. Right. I shall be watching for the slightest infringements. Quite right. OK, Hat? Now, don't forget, if I go slow, you go slow. If I go fast, you go fast. OK? OK. Check. 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 Check.
This is not a race. You don't have to try and beat me. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. We're not in the common market yet, are we? No. No. Then why are you on the right-hand side? <laughs> oh, well, I was following Eric. <laughs> yes, but here's your loaf. Not follow me. Give me separage. Just keep me an eye shot like that. Mm. Like that. Okay? Separage. Picasso, Matisse, Rembrandt. Yes, well, apart from that lot, there's an unknown painter who's been doing a grand job with a white line in the centre of the room. <laughs> Do you think you could keep to the left of it? Your footsteps he followed. Without undue care and attention, finishing in duck pond. Well, you said follow the white lines. Put her in second gear. Right. Put your foot down, hat. <laughs> oh, I was going out tonight. <laughs> That'd be good. Oh, I think we're stuck. If I'd wanted to go in for this sort of thing, madam, I would have joined the river police. <laughs> would you tie that to the bumper and help Eric to pull me out? All right. <laughs> have to show off, don't they? <laughs> Just tie the rope on the bumper, then we'll all have a swim. Here, come on, get out of it. No picnicking on my land. Drawing watercress? Here, come on, get out of it or I'll call the police. Yeah, don't worry, we brought our own. <laughs> yes, just a minute, you. Here, come on to that before I get me death. Oh, oh, really? oh. Yeah, well, how do you think I feel? Eh? I'm nearer to me than anyone else, you know. Oh. Right? Right. Yes. Reverse head! Now, OK. Put your foot down and heave. One, two, three! And heave! <laughs> Say it's not the black wall tunnel. We're in the back of a van. Well, I realised that when they locked us in. All right, go on, sound your horn, sound your horn. Right, get, get his attention, get his attention. Right, get his attention, sound your horn. Come on! Give yourself! Let you wrap up. <laughs> oh, that makes 
What's up? What's up? I've had a car trying to pass me. Hooting me for the last 15 miles. I'll sort him out. Where are we now, then? Where are we? Just entering Brighton. Well, that's fine. That's great. Because I want to walk into Brighton. Thanks. All right, mate. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Yeah. Have you been in the back all the time? Ah, yes, but you left your vehicle right bang in the middle of the road. I could hardly avoid it. I could have you up for dangerous driving. You! Just a moment. Just a moment, there. Eh? I've got up for dangerous driving. He was first. Well, trespassing then. We could have had you for hijacking. Could we? <laughs> <laughs> that if I hadn't been here, you could now be in some garage in Brighton with the respray, new number plates, and sold abroad as a Rolls Royce. Who, me? <laughs> no, the car. Oh, no, I wouldn't have let them. You public are so gullible, aren't you? Hmm? I mean, one cup of coffee, and you could have ended up in Tangiers as a patron's plaything. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, now, what's your name? Oi! <laughs> oh, never mind. I've got enough on you to spend the winter in a nice, warm courtroom. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> Eric! He must have walked here quickly. Max must have been going like piston rods. <laughs> and the arms. Thirty years on the force and only twenty-four convictions. And now, in one fell swoop, I've got enough charges to make cereal. Oh, <laughs> you're exaggerating. Oh, I am not, you know. With any bit of luck. I could be on pandas next week. <laughs> right, where's my notebook, then? Oh, it's in the oven. Oh, it should be dry by now. <laughs> oh, well, dangerous driving, for a start. Yes, well, she was only on the right-hand side of the road twice, two times. Yeah. When she was on the road, yes. <laughs> and what about the chemist's shop? Well, she popped in there to get some aspirins. <laughs> but she didn't have to drive in. <laughs> With a good lawyer, strictly speaking, there is nothing on that door to say that she shouldn't drive in. She didn't even hit the door. Straight through the plate glass. <laughs> they got her then, haven't they? Here it is. It's dry, oh, but I'm afraid some of the writing's sort of washed off. Hey, washed off? Mm. This is deliberate, this, you know. All my notes are in here. Oh, hey? well, don't worry. I'm sure we can remember most of the offences. Well, never mind the offences. My laundry list's in there as well. <laughs> I've got nothing in the book now, you know, to show the sergeant. You can forget pandas, Hello. then. Right. Oh, the marathon walker in... <laughs> oh, you are in a state. You must have walked right round the block. Let's just forget it, Mr. Brown. Oh, no, it's this little matter of the wager. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, doesn't it? I think it does. All right, ten pounds. Now, you said twenty pounds. All right, twenty. Have you got it with you? Well, this will perhaps teach you not to... <laughs> what do you mean? Have I got it with me? The bet was that I bet you you wouldn't walk into Brighton. Well, he did just that. I don't believe you. You don't have to believe me, Mr Brown. We have a police statement to back us up. Oh, I'm not going to accept a statement by the police. They don't know the difference between Brighton and Bognor. Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look here. Now, you keep out of this. The point is, the wager was that you wouldn't walk into Brighton. And I did that. I got to the sign, Brighton welcomes careful drivers, and there I did. One small step for man. <laughs> One big step for 20 pounds. <laughs> and I have a policeman's testimony. I hope you're nothing like the policeman I bumped into last week. I wouldn't accept his testimony. Wouldn't you? No. Do you know, he had the effrontery to ask to see my driving licence. Well, I didn't know they'd made it a one-way street. <laughs> and uh, did you show him your licence? Yes, I did. But the funny thing was, you see, it was eight months out of date, and he never even noticed! <laughs> <laughs> Is it still out of date? Yes, but I mean, I've gone so long now, I might as well work the year out. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
policeman had been a sort of a tall chap, you know, good looking with glasses. Yes, now you mention it, he did wear glasses. Didn't seem all that bright to me. <laughs> did he have a helmet on, sir? Like this? Yes, as a ma <laughs> Oh, good lord. Right. Okay. I'll pay this gentleman his bet. And secondly, may I have my notebook? There you are. And a dry pencil. <laughs> a dry pencil. <laughs> Thank you.